Welcome to Full Neck's first Digital Heritage Day. The settlement was founded in 1748 by Count Zinzendorf with the aim of creating a settlement that really upheld the principles of brotherly love. The exhibition will offer you an insight, hopefully, into the special place that food has formed within this community. Let's start with food to survive. The brethren and the sisters were involved in the production of fruit and vegetable from the gardens and crops from the fields. If you know the area, Mill Hill is where there was a mill that ground the corn that was used in the Full Neck bakeries. Three bakeries supplied both the community and sold their products in Bradford and one of them made a real speciality, the Nutkin, a triangular fruit bun, which I'm told is very tasty. You may be aware that in the 1800s the price of bread rose significantly and increasingly it became difficult to feed your family. There really was hunger knocking at the doors. A group of people from Pudsey were in a mood for a riot and they came in to Full Neck with their loaves on the sticks because a loaf that size suddenly for the same price was that size. So there they are ready for a riot and what did the bakeries do? They opened their door and fed them. In Full Neck, there was a community shop. No Morrisons, no deliveries, but a community shop where most of the things that the people living in the settlement could get served, no doubt, with a smile. Bed and breakfast. Full Neck was a small community but a small community with lots of connections, nationally and internationally. And so for visitors, a bed and breakfast here on the settlement would be very welcome. Embroidery and decorations. The embroidery produced at Full Neck really was very beautiful. However, it was also a key industry and part of the sisters working to support the survival of the community. The sisters were real entrepreneurs. There were regular sales of their embroidery in Bond Street, London, and one of the sisters regularly travelled the country advertising and selling their products. Busy bees. Bees, then as now, are important pollinators. Local honey was produced. And one of the side product from honey is beeswax. The shoemaker knew this. He mixed it with soot. And from that, he got some very well polished shoes. Food and drink plays an important part in Moravian worship too. One of the services that we have, as with many other denominations, is Holy Communion, when we share the bread and wine and we remember the Last Supper and Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. In baptism services, we use a scallop shell to pour the water on the child's head. A service unique to the Moravian Church is the Love Feast. During the Love Feast we share news from the local church and also churches around the Unity. And we share uh, a bread bun and a cup of tea around the congregation. We also have another service that began in the Moravian Church and is now used in many other churches. That is the Christingle. 
with the orange and the candle and the various fruits and sweets around the outside. The meaning of which is Jesus, the light of the world. The candle is the light and the world represented by the orange. World War I sadly caused many deaths and injuries. At least the wounded soldiers in Leeds had the benefit of fresh eggs collected from Fulneck, for which there is a certificate recognising Fulneck's contribution to the war effort. Fulneck is proud to have a museum opened 50 years ago. It was built on jars of museum marmalade, which was sold to raise funds for the decoration of the cottages where the museum was to be held. After lots of hard work, it was opened by Bishop Foy in 1969. Today, the Moravian Church is worldwide, and through these connections, we have learned much about the importance of food to different cultures. Most of us in our lives have been grateful for antibiotics. We all know Fleming discovered penicillin. However, building on his work, was Sir Robert Robinson, who played his part in developing other antibiotics. His love of chemistry and maths was fostered at Fulneck School.